You've been told a lot of lies about work and jobs. For example, lie number one, you are lucky to have a job. We hear it all the time. There's nothing lucky about spending most of your waking hours doing whatever someone else tells you to. You might be lucky if you really enjoy doing what you're doing, that is rare. But for having a job you hate like the majority of the population, that's the opposite of lucky, common and unfortunate. Lie number two, you get paid what you're worth. Human potential is limitless but time is limited. That makes everybody's time a precious resource. Sadly, the pervasive culture doesn't value human potential, other than potential to make money. You don't get paid what you're worth. You get paid what you're worth to your employer, which is often just enough to keep you desperate enough to continue working for their benefit. Line number three, you need a job to be productive. Are managers managing managers to manage managers who don't really need any management really being productive? What the hell is wrong with you people? All employment implies is that you're getting a paycheck. Employment does not equal productivity. In fact, those with the highest paying jobs are often among the most counterproductive. Take for example, the rich investment bankers who destroyed the economy or the rich oil companies responsible for destroying our ecosystems. It's actually surprisingly common for unemployed to be more productive than your typical paid employee. A stay at home mother, for example, works almost a hundred hours hours a week. It is among the most demanding important work there is. The future of society literally depends on their work raising the next generations. But it pays nothing. What the hell is going on around here? There is no connection between work and productivity. No connection between monetary value and real world value. Lie number four. Good companies are good employers. They hire you to make money for them not because they're your friend. If they can make more money replacing you with technology or somebody more naive and financially desperate, they will. Lie number five, the unemployed are lazy. If you're unemployed, that doesn't mean you're lazy. Looking and applying for work is hard work. And so is accomplishing anything without the financial and social support of a job. I mean, really, who's more lazy? The unemployed with the self-discipline to pursue things on his or her own without oversight or payment? Or the employee who does little else than what he's told to all day? Hmm. Lie number six, work is life's mission. How's work? What do you do for work? Are the first things people ask, so naturally we've come to believe that they're the most important things. But there's so much more to live for, like happiness, health, knowledge, passion, progress. Lie number seven, everyone needs to earn a living. This was true when we all literally had to work the fields for food to live, but that's no longer the case. It used to take 90% of the workforce to feed ourselves. Now it takes less than 1.7%. Of course, we still need to work to continue innovation and progress, but we no longer need to work simply to live. We are quite literally living in an age of abundance, but our system of money and workaholic culture prevents us from realizing it. Lie number eight, if you work hard enough in school, get good enough grades, then eventually you will have a good paying job. That's just not true anymore. So what'd you think of the video? Do you disagree, agree? As always, let's duke it out in the comments. If you'd like to learn the solution to all the problems with work, please check out my basic income video where I explain why everybody should have free money. Right here. Click it.